Fire Blade reacts back with another reaction video today, and today I'm gonna be doing uh, Hobson's new release, uh, Your House. Uh, it's been a minute since I've reacted to or even listened to Hobson because you know he's been on a hiatus trying to find himself and stuff, going to Thailand, all that shit. Like his tracks, Kumbaya and COVID Mansion. Man, those were badass. I'm not even gonna lie. Um, those two songs, I was like those two songs, I was fucking. I was banging the shit out of them a lot of the time when they first came out and it just shows how talented he is but this one's called your house now he did if you guys seen uh his update video where he's talking about how he finally you know get got out of that depression he found himself he's not in that place anymore and he said that all this music he's about to release was when he was in that dark time and he's not there anymore like he's he let us know he's not there anymore but He's going to release all this music that he did when he was in that state. And this is this is the first one, um, Your House by Hobson. So here we go. Let's full screen this motherfucker, and here we go. Hold on. Hold on. Keep on forgetting the fucking volume. Turn it up a little bit. There we go. All right, here we go. Man, I don't even know what happened I was born inside of this shit My fucking parents scrapping I was mortified as a kid Police always at my house All because of my daddy's temper Man, this shit been going on About as long as I can remember He'd always blame my mom For the shit he didn't accomplish I'd hide in the corner Like a guinea pig in the process Just knowing he about to Smack the fucking teeth out of mouth It's like when it came to some type of drama He got aroused No joke Damn This is already getting real of first fucking part of the video like holy shit hobson i mean i know you're gonna come out with the stuff when you're in your dark times but dude this is hitting somewhere different now like damn that that sucks like you should never have to go through that when you're a kid bro like no joke you should never have to go through you should never have to go through that where you have an abusive father and shit like that no hell no dude damn this shit's already hitting different chords, dude. And of course, he's fucking spitting bars. No matter how serious the song is, he's always keeping it real with the lyrics. Like, I always think Hobson is one of the best lyricists out there t to this day. And this is the biggest reason why. There was the moments where dad would slowly be creeping up. I would jump in front of my mama. Please don't beat her up. I ain't never spoke on this shit. The memories are up. Smiles and hugs, that's just something you'll never see in us. You know the pain when your parents tell you to go and play. Then hours later, you see your mama, she got a swollen face. I hope you don't relate. I just learned how to cope today from the days when I would pick up the phone and say, I gotta leave here now. My mom and dad acting crazy in the same way. And they've been going back and forth all night I wanna stay at your house tonight Cause I don't wanna hear my dad fight mama no more I don't wanna hear the police at the front door Can I stay at your house? I wanna stay at your house tonight Your house tonight I would go to school feeling Man, dude, this is This is some real shit, honestly Like, everything he's talking about, like like I said, no child should have to grow up in that type of environment. Like it really, um, it really changes their mental state as they grow older, and you know, it just sticks with them for life. And that shit is tough. I mean, I was, and I was glad I never had physically abusive parents. Like I'm glad I never had. I'm I'm thankful to God that I never had to go through that. Like the shit he's talked about, he's going through, but that shit, that shit hits somewhere else. Cause like, yeah, it was more like um, mentally abusive. If you know what I'm saying, it wasn't more like it wasn't physically at all. Like they never touched me, but it was like mental. So that's what I mean. Like I can't relate to being 
physically abused by a father figure or you know a father or a mom because you know I can't because I've never been through it but yeah that shit's tough like I I'm glad Hobson got out of that mental state dude because now I can see why he was going through all that shit in his head so frightened yeah I was scared not knowing if I'm gonna go home finding my mama dead every other fucking day dad was always losing control he was acting like a fucking they running loose in our home man ever since I was born they was pessimistic and torn it's evident but regardless they never get a divorce god I wish they got around and just checking into some counseling we could have been a happy family inside our house again I said again and that's another thing dude like it just confuses people like even me, like, I've seen relationships where it's just like, dude, why don't you guys just split up? Like, why keep it going? Like, it's so toxic. Why do you keep on going? You guys are going to end up hurting each other in the end. It's just crazy. Like, why? Like, why stay? You know the best thing to do is to split up, but you guys stay, and then you hurt others around you, and you hurt yourselves. Like... I just don't understand people like that that just stay with an, a relationship like that. Like, I just don't get it at all. As if we ever were, that's false. Shit I dealt with growing up will forever hurt. I'm lost. We were nothing like the families I used to see on the sitcom. We were horrible whip bonds. I can no longer sitcom. I would see that my friends had a life at home that was peaceful. They were lovable people who didn't function like we do. Or how I wish I could redo the pain of the wicked days. When I pick up the telephone, call a friend and say, I gotta leave here now. My mom and dad acting crazy and this ain't right. And they've been going back and forth for all night I wanna stay at your house tonight Cause I don't wanna hear my dad fight mama no more I don't wanna hear the police at the front door Can I stay at your house? I wanna stay and Everything about this song is really like Really fucking dope Like I like the beat I like how Hobson's flowing Like dude there's not much to speak about Cause you already know Hobson's gonna make a good song But like I said this one is real as fuck Like I think this is one of Hobson's realest tracks he's ever made. Close to, I mean, it's pretty close to Ill Mind of Hobson 7, but not quite. Because Ill Mind of Hobson 7 was actually really fucking, like, that one hit different chords too. But this one, like I said, it's just digging more into what he went through mentally. Like, it's just digging more into his personal life, you know? And like I said, that shit, damn. Damn. That's, like I said, I, 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 I don't even work. Uh, I don't even pray for my worst enemy to go through this, dude. Like, this is tough. Stay at your house tonight. Your house tonight. I ain't placing the blame saying it's mom and dad's fault. But all those traumas I had stuck with me as an adult. And it ignited these mad thoughts. Just like I, just like I said earlier in the video. When you do that, sh when kids are surrounded by that. They'll have that shit stuck in their head till they're adults, and it just changes them. Like, just like I just said earlier. That I seem to have often. Yeah, that's Hobson. Music is where my last straw went. Now I'm devoted to always give you my true life. The love I never felt growing up, I get it from you guys. Please don't get it twisted. I love both my parents to death. I just think there's issues a lot of fucking parents neglect. We all got these traumas we carry, and sometimes it's scary because we bury the nest right there in our chest, and we subconsciously air and project the nightmares and the stress that we dealt with when we were younger. And that's why therapy's best. Listen, if you got kids of your own, you throwing tantrums don't be oblivious and assume that it won't impact them children follow the protocol of the parents blueprint so when there's an issue they might handle it just how you did right there true facts what hobson just said dude just like i said just like i said earlier in the video and also i'm gonna bring up product the product of your environment uh phrase because that is this is the truth right here and what he just said the way you reacted to it, they'll react to it the same way, um, eventually, because, you know, mom, mom and dad are, like, really big figures in a child's life, like, a mom and a, like, mom and father and mother, like, so they look up to you to everything, so, like, when that shit, when they, the way they act, is kind of like how you see, like, it's just kind of how you see the world, and, Eventually, you'll start acting the same way because you feel like that's really the only real way to act just because it was them. That's 
Man, I gotta rewind that though. Hobson is fucking murdering this beat right now, and he and he's like I said, he's. This is like one of the realest songs he's ever made. Listen, if you got kids of your own and you throwing tantrums, don't be oblivious and assume that it won't impact them. Children follow the protocol of the parents' blueprint, so when there's an issue, they might handle it just how you did. You did. I gotta leave here now. My mom and dad acting crazy in the same way. And they've been going back and forth all night. I wanna stay at your... I like how he switched up the story, like, or how he, um advance the story to see you know to show what would happen if he would have went down that same route that's why i love hobson dude always is showing it from both sides of the spectrum instead of just one side like he always shows both sides and yeah i'd be sad if this is the route that hobson went because you know unlike Unlike other people who follow the same routes as, you know, their past, there are people like Hobson and me and other people that don't follow that same path. Damn, dude. <laughs> that was one of the realest videos I have ever seen. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, that was one of the realest fucking songs I've ever heard. Dude, Hobson, you're back, dude. You are fucking back. I'm putting a like on this video because holy shit, dude. You are fucking back. And you, just like always, when you release new music, it has an impact, dude. And I hope that this song this video can help others that have been through the same shit that have been through the same circumstances as he did like i really hope it does because like i said no child should have to go through that shit like no child should have to go through that type of fucking environment while they're growing up because like i said it just changes it changes them in the long run and it's really sad when it does because then they think the only way to react or the only way to act is how you act because you're the biggest part of their lives. Like, you're the biggest influence. But anyways, guys, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Suggest more content if you want. You just do it in the comments, and I'll probably react to it sometime. I actually um, started writing down my future reactions. Um... I won't reveal them to you, but I have this paper where I wrote down the future reactions I'm going to do. And I did write down some suggestions from the comments, so I will react to suggestions. Like I said, I will react to suggestions in the comments. All you guys have to do is comment what you want me to watch, and I will react to it as soon as I get to it. You guys have a great day. Peace.